Hi Virgo, thanks for stopping by in Yin and Yang Spiritual Love. We're gonna do a you versus them love reading for see what is your current energies and what is the person you're dealing with feel or think about you and what is the outcome between you two. So remember this is our general readings. Um, I hope it resonates for all of you. So I try to take the message uh, the divine gave me and put it out there. Um, and, and Archangel Michael advice and see how can we help you guys. I hope some positivity for everybody. Uh, but I have to speak the truth sometimes. If you don't like it, I'm really sorry. But I have to say what they told me and how I feel um, and what I see. So let's start, Virgo. Let's see how are you doing energies for the month of April. You versus them. Uh, the Ten of Cups. The Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Star. Look like you are in a commitment and you feel lonely. Um, you feel like left out in the cold or the person you're dealing with is ignoring you. They don't give you much attention. Uh, also, I see it, it. This is like it. The, this person you're dealing with is your wish fulfillment, is somebody who you wanna be with. Uh, but you, this person make you feel lonely. Uh, sometimes you feel like you wanna leave the situation, or maybe that person left you, and you thinking about having a conversation about how you feel in this particular situation. Um, signs I see so far: a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, and I see you, Virgo. So probably that's your energy, feeling lonely, feeling like it left out in the cold, ignore. Um, let's see your person energy. Probably some of you going through like some depression or feeling sad and you know feeling like things don't going well. King of Pentacles. Two of Wands, Five of Swords, Prince of Wands, the Hierophant. So look like a, it's an unstable relationship, a married probably. Um, this person feel they waiting and take a decision regarding the relationship. They feel very defensive about it. They feel like uh, they may be being cruel with you. They may be being unfair with you, uh, selfish. And uh, maybe you're dealing with somebody who's overindulging themselves, who's drinking, who's have some tendencies to just thinking about themselves a lot. Look like the person you're dealing with is uh, maybe somebody who owns their own company, who is a boss. Probably you guys work together. Um, is somebody? Um, this person towards you, it look like it, they're being unfair, they're being aggressive, they being like too direct to the situation, uh, extremely, extremely harsh. Um, probably dealing with the Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I see here uh, Taurus again, and I see um, a, a fighter sign, probably a Sagittarius. Um, this person is in a crossroad because this person wanna like it see things don't go right between you two and they know they're being unfair but they don't know if they wanna fix it. Look like you're dealing with somebody very selfish, a little bit a little bit intransigent, somebody who's just wanna their way or no way. Um, and that make you feel like you just want to communicate the situation that make you feel lonely that make you feel bad that make you feel like you're losing hope um, and it, you've been left out in the call for somebody who's supposed to protect you supposed to be by your side but this person just take advantage of the situation and just um, moving um, towards their own pleasure and whatever they want to they take it so for some of you, I'm sorry, but look like this person is narcissistic and take advantage of you in nice ways. Um, this person had you waiting in an offer, like a peace offer. Um, See, so it's going to turn around for you guys. Um, 
look like they 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 in the crossroad they think they think they wanna they wanna try to fix things it's gonna be a lot of communication between you two things gonna moving fast and it's gonna be a peace in the situation um, and it, the waiting is gonna be over what you need to take into account is this person really change or just this person see I live in them uh, this person don't don't really give you love they pretend they do and they just see like you oh they gonna they gonna let lose you look like it's somebody selfish who's just don't want to let you go and um, look you have the ten of coins the four of ones and the four of coins this person holding on and make you feel really bad i need a commitment here so look like you guys have a commitment and this person take advantage of you and let you make you feel like left out in the cold they make you feel sad make you feel for some of you you're depending on this person and this person take advantage of you it is this person confuse you and and also it make you feel happy and and make you feel sad at the same time it make you feel defeated so it is somebody who you you have a lot of burden towards because of them it's going to be communication but there's things hitting there's some toxins in there a lot of toxicity they know how to work in you out they know you well and they they know how to keep you chained like a like you feel trapped with this person you want to change you want to like things changing between you two you don't want to things ending i don't see the ending but i see you suffering a lot so maybe you need to take a decision to stay in your ground and put this person in their place because it, it you can have a lot of abundance a lot of abundance is you is you get out of this prison you feel like it, oh, it's a lot of good things out there but you cannot get out so it this person try to change you can stay with them but i see just they are toxic and mean to you um you need to heal and uh, and and have the strength to move forward it is very difficult if you marry with this person it's really really difficult and more is you feel codependency and if you need them and they take advantage of you in that in one way or another it, it is trust transformation of course trust acceptance once you accept your current situation you will automatically transform so you accept what the things how they are I think you make it you make it in your head something it is not about this person like uh, you feel like you feel this person is in some way but they are not don't be afraid to losing someone who doesn't want you this person make you feel like you need them and you need them in their life but you really don't it's like all in your mind you have fears to move on because this person practically have you trapped in fears and you need to be able to just get rid of that fear and moving on and moving on and be happy for your soul maybe you guys need a break maybe if this person see you serious they can they can take you seriously sometimes we love somebody so much that we forgive them and forgive them and forgive them and they get away with a lot of things we just need to be strong and move forward and prove them we can we don't need you we choose to be with you but we don't need to be with you nobody need a hundred percent anyone in their life more is this person is hurtful so if this person hurt you in one way or another this person have a lot of toxicity and this person have code, you have codependency or this person is an alcoholic or dealing with some issue this person take advantage of you and stop them and say okay i have my rights and i i have a right to be happy and i want to be happy and i'm going to be happy for my soul so this is the time to just say what i really need what it made me happy do i want to feel like this way forever no you don't so try to step out of it even emotionally let it go and things will change for you i promise you 
So this is what I have for you, Virgo. Thanks for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. A lot of blessings. Bye-bye. Um,